Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and for the under five minute reviews of the month of October, I wanted to bring you some products that are a little bit more special effects, makeup or Halloween related. So in this video, I am going to be talking about the Revolution SFX Ultimate Face Paint Palette. And as you can see, my palette already has some use. This one I bought last year. But this year they have it again on the Revolution website for six pounds, six euros 99 or nine dollars. And I will leave it linked in the description box. And with this palette, you get 12 cream face paints or body paints with a very nice variety of shades. I would say they're all very, very creamy. The white, the black and the yellow are a little bit sheer and need to be a little bit more build up. But I would say all the other colors have a really good pigmentation. The brown swatched looks a little bit more of a dark red, but I think you get a really nice variety of colors. Now, this year I still haven't done anything using this because with everything that is going on in the world, I'm not actually very inspired to do Halloween, like full-on Halloween looks. But last year I did give this palette a lot of views, so I'll give you a few examples. On my pop art makeup, I used the black to do the contour around my face and I also used the light blue to do the teardrop on my eye. On my Terminator look I used mainly the dark grey and also the light grey to do the metallic parts and it was really incredible to work with these two shades, it was very very nice. On my zombie look, I have used the reddish brown and also the green and I dabbed it with a sponge to create kind of a sickly, rotting, flesh kind of effect. And they also applied very nicely with a sponge. I also did a Katrina skull for the Day of the Dead and on this look I used mainly the purple for the flowers around the eye sockets and also the orange and I thought this was a really nice color combination. But definitely the look I used this palette the most was my pop art zombie. I used quite a big chunk of the yellow mixed with another face paint to get the right shade of green that I wanted to use on my face and on my neck, on my shoulders. Then I also used a lot of the black, I used the white to do the teeth and the bones. I used the purple under my eyes and I also used a lot of the red to do the more fleshy parts. So I absolutely loved this palette for this particular look. I will leave in here a kind of compilation of last year's Halloween looks with my two favorites in the middle. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And just to summarize with this palette, I think what's really missing in here is a pink. Maybe switching off this very light gray because you do have black, gray and white. This one was probably not so necessary and add a pink in here and I think this would be very very complete. But overall I think this palette is a really nice quality and a very very affordable price if you want to start trying out face paints. And if you'd like to see me use this palette a little bit more in depth and check out the videos I mentioned, I will leave on the side my playlist for my Halloween makeup. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos like this one every Saturday and other videos every Monday and Thursday. And that is everything for this one. Thanks so much for watching.